Oh my god, I've opened stuff on my screen. Go away. Bad time. Okay, this is the matchup that I threw earlier. Let's go. Squirrel's good. Berserker, not very good. Can probably go. Double Bone Talisman seems pretty weird as well. I could see it. Over a Bruiser. Yes. Let's just kick the Bone Talisman, right? And maybe just lose the Indrigor Warrior. It's pretty bad. Monster Nest, please. <sighs> Do I have to use a leader charge for Spontaneous, which sucks. So if I win this, he can choose the matchup for Syndicate, right? That's the downside. So if I, but I just have to win, right? Then it's in, I have to win. I think this is kind of bad for me, maybe. Maybe I should have just tried to get my Syndicate through. And then I'm probably winning the series. If I, it's fine. Would have been the matchup. I had no choice. He queued correctly. I just have to win, right? Fine. So I have to basically just go lead a charge here, right? It's really sad. Like I never end Nero for a, for a monster nest. There's more important things. I guess Bru ah, Bruiser wouldn't do anything either. I still need to ultimately do that at some point, right? I have no other organics in hand. Come on, chat. Let's go. My deck exactly the same. It's Wang's deck. It's not my deck. Payday. Maybe I'm not playing a payday actually. No, I'm playing one. So that would suggest a pass, a pretty early pass, right? It's a bit awkward for me here because I have to commit Swarm. Or just make suboptimal plays. What I could do... Is I could... Go Spontaneous Behemoth and pass. Force the long round. Then I just have Uridan in the long round, right? Doesn't seem that bad. I don't want to go Squirrel here, right? That seems... That does seem bad. I think we just take the Spontaneous. I don't think I have much choice. Obviously this Telegraph, so I probably don't have much Swarm, so he's just hoping I don't have the second Spontaneous. He knows I don't have Monster Nest with this opening play. And we got the drone spawns in the correct spot, so Behemoth is maximum points. Whether we just want to slam Behemoth or not. I mean, this guy is playing so slowly, right? We just we can force the long round by just going Behemoth, right? Like, it just completely forces the long round. He's just looking to pass. I would have to play two more cards, and they're all good. So I just slam the TA. What if I go Yen? Is it ever Yen instead? It's always just Behemoth, right? It's always Behemoth. Because I have the Yennefer Uridan combo. So how do I lose this? How do I lose this? Or I could, I could, I could not commit. Do I win the long round? I think I win the long round. I did this against Cardo and I didn't, right? I didn't win the long round. But this, this forces them to commit more. Oh, my days. I'm so inexperienced in this matchup. They're playing too clowny. I'm not letting them get away with this. I'm out. That's uh, going to need some commitment, right? I'm done. I'm done. I think I like this pass. I think I like this pass. I get the squirrel on the boat. On the dry pass. I forced the long round. I think I'm okay with this. Like, surely I win this, right? I don't want to 
I need to be careful to have enough consumes, but I still have Crimson Curse on one row. Just about. Like, I don't know, maybe it's Troll. But I think it's fine. Got it. It's the line I went for, right? Like, it's pretty difficult for them to get carryover, uh, full carryover for round three. I have a flipping Uridan. I have a Dora Grey. Obviously, the fact they've got Horson makes things a bit more spooky. But ultimately, like, their safe crackers are just going to be really weak in the next round. Whereas if I passed, we'd be in the same spot. Except they would be able to develop carryover for round three, right? You could argue, okay, I would have a behemoth still. But I still would have had to have spent something decent, right? Like a chimera. Maybe that's not a big deal. So do we lose the bone talisman? Or the chimera? Um, I mean, I'm not sure. Probably a chimera, right? But there's not many cards, actually, they can play here for profit, right? They could go a Nero for Shake, or a Nero for Fist Tech. Then I can squirrel the Nero instead of squirreling the uh, boat rope, which I think is worth it. I think, I th whatever, man. I don't regret it. I am not experienced with AQ at all. I should have scrimmed it more, particularly this matchup, right? I think this is my big regret. I said that uh, game one, I wish I scrimmed this matchup. Like, he gets no carry. This just had to have been the line. I, I, I spend Behemoth to stop them getting any carry over, and I also get a Banish on the boat, right? Okay. So, Horson. And also, they just can't fit all the cards they want in round three. Like, they can't play Justice. They just, it just won't work. I and mean, maybe it will. But, like, Crimes are good, right? They have... Uh... Orson, Philippa, Heatwave, Jack Cleaver. They have everything. But, my name is Specimen Gwent. And I fear no man. So what are we looking for? And we could go Maxi off a of Nero. We could do that. It is an option. Uh, yeah. I think it's worth right. We can just tailor our hand. It means we have an extra mulligan to worry about, right? Because the Nero, so we kind of lose two mulligans. Okay, I mean, it was bad because this is so good, but we just know that it's good, right? It's fine. We know exactly what we're finding. One, two, three, four, five. I'm only getting four of these cards though, right? No, no, I have four mulligans. I draw two cards and then I get four mulligans, right? So I think I can get the Arrakis Nest too. Not sure on that. Certainly want this card. This is going to be our Nero, right? I am roping, guys. I am doing my best. I did not want to try and play there. What just happened? Holy moly. Thank you. Overcommitment warnings. So I'm drawing three. I really should know this, right? I'm drawing three cards. I'm drawing two cards. I'm going to draw Triss and a Nero, and then I have four mulligans. One, two, three, four. So Parasite. I miss, I miss this nest, which is quite sad. But I can uh, a Nero for it. So I'm mulliganing the Bruiser. I think I'm keeping the Bone Talisman, right? Because I'm just going to go for an early Yennefer before Drill is set up, right? The behemoth commitment was big. I'm not going to lie, chat. It was a big commitment. Bruiser's going. Check. Okay. And then it's Bone Talisman. Chimera is better, right?
Oh shit, I missed Parasite. Alright. Bone Talisman or Monster's Nest or Chimera. Maybe one Talisman is okay. One Chimera, one Talisman, one early, one late. I need to consume six. I think it's good. Uh, I have to end Nero for the Parasite. Don't have as much Swarm as I thought, which is a problem, right? It's a real problem, potentially. It could cost me the game. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to go for a very early Yenna for that's the game plan, right? Uh, this is for Drill. We could also go for some more Swarmy Swarm. I hope this is a good line. I am worried it's not. But if it isn't, you know, I can hold my hand up and say, look, I was good enough. Unfortunately, I just wasn't good enough with one of my decks and I should have practiced with it more. I think the deck's done well. It's just the gameplay for me isn't... I don't feel confident, right? I don't know the lines. I don't have experience in the matchups with this particular deck. But they have no carryover chat. That's really a lot of... That's a big deal. It really is. Like, four coins is six drill, uh, six points of drill, right? On drones. Is there a world we don't lock this? I'm going to say no. We have Parasite. We can just take the lock, right? It swarms the board. We do, of course, want to get the Yen down as soon as possible, but this is a spender that swarms, so we just lock. The other alternative is we ignore. Doesn't sound like a good plan. I'm pretty happy to just lock the cleaver. And then I have Parasite, the drill. But there's Senior as well, right? Maybe we just have to heat wave this. I mean, the lock plays for the same on Senior, right? Except takes away Uridan value. This is better for Uridan. We just need to make sure I get my yen down before they have more coins, right? I wonder if I'm supposed to take the yen now. I wonder if I could have even just taken the yen, like, uh, if this if this lock was a bait. Because I need swarm. And I want to get my yen through before the drill laps. Obviously, Crimson Curse is swarming the board as well, right? Like, I probably want a Crimson Curse before I yen. Um, this Triss could be really, really bad right now. The most important thing is trying to protect these dudes, right? Mm. I'm going to take the Crimson Curse, I think. Behemoth might have just been the one of one of the two cards not to have played, right? Like this uh this line could have been fine to pass. But maybe I just didn't need to do it quite as much. This is fine. It's good against Yen, of course, but I think we just slam the Yen now, right? They don't have that many coins. They're gonna want to try and wait a turn. But then we go Yen, Bone Talisman, and all the all these drones that are still alive are protected. From the drill and they don't have a, an abundance of coins here. Could have been the heat wave, but like Justice and Furco are still in their deck, right? Alternatively, we could we don't take the Triss, right? We're gonna assume Triss hits a crime or natural selection. Maybe a bone talisman if we're lucky, or, or some swarm perf once they've drilled. We don't take it yet. We just slam. Uh is that four? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's a much better yen than I had against Car, right? And obviously I'm going to be uriding the back row most likely anyway. Okay, here's the drill. And we forced the drill somewhat prematurely, right? Because they didn't have that many coins. And while this hurts, my Triss isn't going to low roll two, two series in a row. Three series in a row, right? Like they could have killed a lot more drones if they had more coins. I should be looking at the flipping deck list. 
There's no purify, so we just take the lock. Oh, sorry, the parasite. So we go Wispus into parasite, which again does swarm the board for us. Puts two cards on the board. Not sure about this Chimera over Bone Talisman as it stands. Looking like that could have been a bad decision, right? Sorry, Bone Talisman over Chimera. Probably would prefer a Chimera. I don't know, maybe that's not true. I don't know. They're still senior. We might have to heat wave him. But they don't have an abundance of coins left, right? And if we can get like the Bone Talisman in there, then limits the amount of things that he can actually kill anyway. So we just take take the talisman here, right? If we take the talisman now. Or we could just heat wave. I have a year and I just heat wave, I think. I could also Triss. Payday would kill it. And if I don't find I could find Talisman, right? Like payday is best case here. Probably. Just kill. And then even if it's a swarm card, that's also fine, right? I think I like the Triss, actually. Because if I take the Uridan, then they can just gourd. Sorry, if I take the Heat Wave, then... I mean, they always... I think the Triss is fine here. I don't think it loses me the game. They have no coins. They can, they can kill three drones, but it costs a shit ton anyway, right? Hey, day, baby. Gourd it. Triss against Triss. Lord Triss. High rolls Lord Triss. Get wrecked. That's why you should be Team Yen, boy. Triss knows. She's Team Yen too. I mean, the bad news, of course, is I don't have much in the way of uh, Swarm left. But the good news is I have one crime left. And uh, wait. They have Heat Wave still, right? Yeah, they have Heat Wave still. So, my Chimera doesn't get any better, so we should just take the Chimera now, right? Because it doesn't go that tall either. Uh, it gives them the minimum Heat Wave if I take Chimera now. It's going to play for 7. I mean, I could do this first. It doesn't make a difference, right? Is there ever a consideration to Heat Wave anything? I don't think so. I think we just take the Chimera. So, there's one Crime card. Probably no Philippa. Because they have no coins. We're in an okay spot, I think. We've still got the Crimson Curse tick, and we're not going to bleed the dude with the shield. Let's play for seven. Bone Talisman would have played for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just wasted three points on my Mulligan. But in, if we get poisoned, it's also two points, right? I misplayed by two points. That's the last crime. Obviously, I'm just going to take the Bone Talisman here, right? Looks like a loss! Yeah, man. I really need to scrim this matchup, right? Like, this line seems like it was a clown line. Orson definitely, like, does make it more difficult, but I think I just clowned out. That's, that's a bad card. Maybe we're okay. I don't know. So, I mean, I need to heat wave something, right? My Uridan is six, uh, two is four, plus four is eight, eight points in the back, and it's eight points in the front already. So I just heat wave the spender, right? His last card is Gord and Philippa. They're going to Philippa, Chimera, which I should have played in the back row. No, they're going to fill up with the Chimera in the front, which makes my Uridin even bigger. Or they play Gord. So I just take the Heat Wave to deny their Spender. Okay, the Uridin's one point worse, right? I miscalculated, but I still take this play. Come on. I'll be so relieved to get this deck through. Uh, we lose to f Jackal, maybe? Do we lose to Jackal? No, let's find out. Philippa, we lose to. She's a 17-point play. 
Shit. Ah, I lose. It's over, guys. This AQ, like, lack of practice cost me. I lost this matchup twice, and it's supposed to be really, really difficult to lose. Uh, Chimera over Bone Talisman was pretty fatal. Yeah, this Behemoth play, right? If I have Behemoth for this round three, makes all the difference. Like, if it was a fine kind of line, I, I don't think I needed to go Behemoth, or I could have gone something less committal. Anyway, we move. I'm not going to be taking the same line my opponent took, I don't think. I definitely didn't play it as bad as the car, ser car thing, I think. Like, I won round one in that situation, right? But then I didn't have this play. It really hurt me. I had, like, a real lack of proactivity, right? But my plan here is to just try and win on even, right? With some pretty sad safe crackers. Yeah, man. AQ is, is unfortunately the bane of my existence, not you, Bane. Very rough. And I think because I started off 0-2, um, there's zero chance at all losing puts me through, but I think winning is guaranteed pretty much. Yeah, this AQ Syndicate matchup, right? It's just going to cost me. Unless I can win this, then I have this AQ Mirror, which I don't feel great about either, to be fair. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to win on even, right? It's my game plan here. Obviously, this plays into Uridan if I take this here, which makes winning on even more spooky. However, I don't want to just give him a good Crimson Curse and Behemoth, right? This is up the Behemoth. And this is only a flipping five points safe cracker at the end of the day, right? Maybe the matchup is not as, you know, people have been telling me that this matchup is really bad, but <sighs> I'm not seeing the lines. I really just wish I spent some time scrimming it last night. Probably would have already been through, right? Would have won this series against Car. I'm pretty certain. Yeah, it's done. It is very much done, mate. What is my best way of getting ahead here? I mean, I could go Horson. Mm hmm. Dip. Plays as a 5. Not enough. Orson plays as a 10. Is enough. And it will put some extra coins in the bank. I could also Furco for something. But Furco into a into a poison is what I would like to try and set up. right? If at all possible. I don't get a better poison really in this matchup. Equally if I can just get some coins in the bank. Philip is good. So I think I'm just looking at Orson on this drone in the front. right? So make in Dragger. To make anything better. I think I go for this one, right? Front row could have made sense also, but Behemoth just gets extra two points. So it's to play for two points less. Obviously, Chimeras are going to play for, for a point extra. Yeah, I should have played in front row, Spess. Holy moly. I mean, the good news is I can get ahead here with the poison, right? Maybe we don't care that much. They do have another Indrega Warrior, but...
So I'm losing, uh, I'm actually losing four more points here, so I have to take this as well. So I'm going to lose two plus two damage, four points. This is why I was just never able to set up, right? I just didn't have the swarm cards to do it. And, I mean, we just take the poison, right? Pretty simply, I think, here. They don't play squirrel, so there's no punish for that. We take the fist stack, right? Intimidate. Whether we click senior, junior, rather, I don't think so. Any spending seems pretty inefficient. Alive, but he's barely breathing. Pray to a guy that I don't believe in. Do, 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 do. Don't high roll me, son. Oh, Triss. Lord Triss, very skilled. Very skilled gamer, unlike myself. So we can spend three coins to deal two damage. Obviously, it's good. It's basically like sa I, saving the drill, right? It's better than spending. No, it's not. It's actually just like a worse drill, right? What choice does a man have? I could Philippa the Triss or this drone. Philippa the drone is 12 plus 3, 15 points. Reasonable. Just win on even, bruh. This flipping Triss, man, what a high roll. Ooh, what a high roll. I mean, he is called Lord Triss, to be fair. And I did get the payday that I wanted last game. Although, it probably wouldn't have even worked out of many points that I had. Another leader charge, bone talisman. Yeah, I mean, this plan to try and win on even hasn't happened really, has it? I mean, I have got a decent amount from them, right? But I'm committing way more than my opponent was in this position, right? This is what you're supposed to do as an AQ player. Just have your swarm cards. I just didn't have any in round one. And kind of played like a donkey. I just made the release for my opponent. I just have to go dip here, right? There's nothing else I can really consider. I could spend five leader charges for my boat, though. Sounds amazing, bruh. Tough times for the man in goal. I'm gonna heat wave me, huh? Interesting. I mean, there's no way I pass, right? Payday the two, I get four coins profit. I could lead a charge for the boat as well. I don't even need to lead a charge though, right? I could end. Nah, I probably lead a charge. Take the round with Jackal. Just need to make a good trade here. Cleaver, drill. That's the game plan, I guess, right? Smoky smoke, cleaver drill. Hand is not looking too bad. Uridin is a thing, though, right? So, like, what is this called doing? Heat wave's gone. I mean, he's still going to be good. It's kind of trolling to kick him, right? What am I really looking for? Heat wave sucks, anyway. I'm just going to be going Jack, probably. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is it, mate. I think we put ourselves in a position we can win the game, right? Gonna slam cleaver. I'm gonna spend twice with the cleaver. Oof. Maybe I'm supposed to mulligan this. I don't think so. Probably gonna end up going. Basically, I think the plan is top deck jack. Yeah. Means you could also. Have, I could have also mulligan gore. But if I hit like this graphic of the heat wave. So just go cleaver. And carry over would have been nice. We got one coin at least, I guess. Better than nothing. I mean, do we even need to uh, spend twice? We could just go Gord next, right? If they lock, we go Gord. Did they go in Nero in round one? No. Big decision. I think I'm supposed to spend. Could prove to be fatal, though. But I think basically I'm saying that I'm not going to go Jack. I'm just going to play like a swindle for some profit here, right? I'm, I'm going to draw Jack, guys, you know? I'm going to draw Jack. Easy. Mate, it's just so easy. Did you guys hear me? Did you hear what I said? I said I'm going to draw Jack. What if I just Gord here? I'm going to be playing Gord, right? I should just play the Gord. Why not? Uh, Bruiser would be a problem. This was first in Nero, right? Uh, but this is like... You don't have Bruiser in this hand, right? Parasite? Maybe. So if I go Drill here, I can click three times, meaning I'll be left with... Ah, uh, not many coins, right? I could just go for the Drill, honestly. I'd rather kill ones, of course. Killing the Dora Gray is not that bad either. I think I just take the Gord, right? Why not? Because I'm top decking Jack, guys. Don't forget that fact, right? It's a very important fact. Jack is going to be in my hand next round because I am good at the game. And I do have some serious techers. I don't even know I've got drill, right? Maybe I don't. I don't have drill, guys. It's fine. And Nero for Andrega eggs just seems so risky, man. Like, that's not a play you want to be doing, so the hand state is awkward. Drag a warrior. And we just spend completely, right? We, we just get the three extra points that we would otherwise have maybe missed out on against a parasite. There is, of course, a consideration to kill the wands if they do have yen in hand, right? Don't know though. I didn't do any maths, guys. I already committed to this line of play, right? They have Yen in hand, they have to. Otherwise, their sequencing makes no sense, but they also probably have to have an Indrega Warrior, right? I should have done some maths. But I think I'm always doing that. Also, like, making the quick play means that they have less time to do their maths, right? I have one, two, three, four, five, six cards. They have six as well. So, again, it's neutral at the moment, but obviously, plus eight. From the dude. It's got to be Yen, right? Is, uh, is Yen enough here to take it? I'm top decking Jack, so we could win. I have last say, right? Let me find the line. Win. Yerden would do it. Let's go! Let's go! Yes! <clears throat> Sorry, my neighbours uh, just looked at me funny. So, I want to win round one, but I don't want to overcommit. Squirrel's great. 
double talisman is very awkward. I think I'm going to have to kick one. I don't like this. Lock. Pretty bad, right? Is this winning round one, guys? If I never see that Euroden again, I'm going to regret it, but it's the correct play, right? Like, I never want to play Euroden in round one. <sighs> okay. So, the objective is, don't overcommit, win the round, make him commit more, but still win the round. I've mulliganed the Euroden because I never want to play at round one, right? However... If I never find it again, it's really bad. Okay. Really good start here. So curse is probably my next option, right? I don't need to play curse yet though, right? I only need to play it in a bit. So I just go max here every time, right? None of these other plays are good here. Or over committing, no need to. <laughs> oh shit, mate. Uh oh. Yeah, this is a problem. Max is gonna save the day, guys, right? Nah, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose it all. I'm gonna lose it all, chat. Uh Bruiser could be kind of funny. Dragon Warrior. Probably Bruiser bottom, right? Dragon Warrior is tempting, but I think it's got to be a bruiser. I wish I got front row boost. Kind of roped out a bit. Okay, so I think I'm going to slam my curse now. I could have already slammed it instead of Maxi, right? But I think I'm going to go for it now. Um... And that's hopefully going to be my only bit of commitment. My hand's a little bit too gold heavy. I did mulligan some golds though, right? Mulligan a gold. So the other option here would be nothing. Damn it. I regret significantly boosting this drone in the back as a misplay. Simple. But it's fine. I can still spontaneous the front and get by mirror value. We're going to go spontaneous. We're going to go chimera. We're going to win the game. Nobody's overcommitted yet. We still have the squirrel. Yeah, we just take the spontaneous, then we go Chimera, right? Okay, this, uh, my maths was off, right? This was, uh, my maths, my counting was kind of silly. Because I did, in fact, miss out on a drone. But my Chimera would still play for more, so it's still correct to see this. Obviously, I'm not going to buff this anyway. For some reason, boosted it. Not even going to do the maths right now to see if it would have made a difference. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have made eight. I think I would have still been taking it in the front row. Like, we're just winning this round, right? Crimson Curse is just smurfing. I don't think it's a problem to, to use these cards. 
Like, this is just a super weak... Oh, my God. Where's my heat wave, man? Heat wave just ends this, right? So I could just take Squirrel, maybe. But then I just let them play their Anira for whatever they want, right? But if I play Chimera and they pass, I'm pretty sure I just go Squirrel, right? Like... One Chimera is not that much commitment, but I would be much more comfortable just playing the Squirrel, right? And then they part, and then I play my Chimera. I'm winning the round. Get absolutely banished, Maxi. I don't want you, man. But <clears throat> Maxi needed to do a job for us. Oh, Maxi, I love you, Maxi. Have I ever told you, Maxi, how much I love you? This Uridan, please put... Ooh, this is a big commitment. Wow. This is really good for us. This round's going really, really well. So we actually still have the pass, and they've now played Behemoth. Which means they have definitely overcommitted. While Crimson Curse is a commitment on my part, it's not that much of one, right? Also, their Chimera is going to play for more points than mine. So maybe I just take this pass. Do I ever get a better one? Uh, fucking hell, this is a big moment. I might regret. Might regret it. I mean, they've already committed the Behemoth, so me going Talisman doesn't even feel like a commitment now, right? So I just take the Chimera. If they get ahead, I've got a Talisman. I've got Triss. Like, they're just going to be matching my commitment. But ultimately, my Crimson Curse is completely smurfing, right? I'm going for it, lad! The round is going well. Let's not pass, right? The round is going well. Obviously, they can eat this, which means the Crimson Curse isn't doing as much, and they can use another leader charge, a second leader charge. <sighs> Flipping heck, mate. This is stressful. Do we ever pass now? Like, using a talisman to take the round. Do we ever use a talisman to take the round? Uh, yeah, I think we do, right? I've played Behemoth, man. I'm not overcommitting. I've used the leader charge. They didn't invest the leader charge for this Chimera. They're just praying I pass for it. If they use Uridan, and I lose on even, pretty sure I don't care. Hey. Behemoth for Talisman. I've used Crimson Curse, but I have secured the last say. I just need my Maxi to have done a job for us, right? And put Uridan and Anira. Woo! Big. Hand is good. Hand is very good. I want all these cards, right? I don't have that much Swarm. However, I do have a Behemoth, maybe, that I, I still need to find. Behemoth Uridan. So I guess I just have to kick the Spontaneous, right? Uh, I've still got... A monster, an Arrakis Nest, and Triss is, is Swarm as well. I have five leader charges too. I think I have to just kick it, right, and cycle the deck. <sighs> Flipping neck, man. Tense times. That's a good dry pass card for them. They have Crimson Curse. Double Bone Talisman. I have Last Say with Uridan. Means I've got my Behemoth. Chimera's great. Heatwave's not good. And Drago Warrior seems worse. Should get a six point Heatwave, right? On a Chimera. Natural Selection's also good. This is the bottom card of the deck. And I wish it was the Indrega Eggs at this point, right? Do I risk it? The Heatwave, a six point card. Yeah! One card is worse than it. I'm not going to find it, guys. We drew the flipping nuts, bruv. That's what we did. We drew the flipping nuts, bruv. I've actually been really cautious with mulligans today overall as well. And we risk it and it pays off. Let's go. S still lacking a little bit in the swarm department. But this find means that I can just a Nero for the spontaneous, right? Whew. 
So the early Yennefer only is relevant on the row I'm going to Uridan, right? So as long as they're not swarming into both rows, I don't care. They also are sat on a Crimson Curse. And they're going to want to Uridan my other row. So we should just play into the row that I'm going to Behemoth, which is the front row. We don't want Para Para Parasite. We just want to go for Spontaneous. Um, for sure. Right, it's one drone less. It plays into Uridan more, but it is more points. And ultimately, I'm pretty sure they just need to Crimson Curse the front row, right? Then again, it's my Behemoth throw. Big decision. I feel like Arrakis Ness is actually better here, right? I think it is. I think it's better. Last second change of mind. Ultimately, each drone is probably worth three points anyway, so the extra the plus three I get or the plus four. The plus three, right? I would get is boosted. Probably just uh just plays into a potential Uridan. But they do have Crimson Curse, so obviously. Maybe that's not true. Flipping it, guys. This is stressful. We're in a really good spot, though, right? We've got a whole flipping behemoth on the man. And Lasse. So, pretty sure this is an easy behemoth, right? We just get the behemoth up and running, son. I'm not really sure when the timing for Uridin is, to be honest. Depends on what they do, right? They Uridin early, we Uridin early. No, if they, if they Uridin early, we don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus three, it's nine. Four. Is this correct to Yen now? Why did they not go full leader here? So what they're saying is they're just going to Uridan my front, obviously. So my Yen in the front here isn't doing anything. I'm also going to be Uridan their front though, right? So I don't want them to have any other... I guess I just go full leader, right? Make sure I don't clog myself by going full leader. Um, okay. One, two, three. No, one, two, three. I just go full leader again, right? I don't clog. Oh shit, I'm worried I'm gonna overclog. Four, five, six, seven, eight, we're fine. We just mirror them. Play chess. I know nothing about chess, but I know in chess, the black, whoever is black, can just copy what white is doing. So I'm going to do that. I don't know the first flipping thing about chess, bruv. But that's what I'm going to do. So we take the Chimera on this drone, right? Because this is playing into Uridan. Obviously, if I take the natural selection here. We could also just take the Triss. Let's think about this. So if we take Triss. I mean, we want to do this, right? But I just don't want to overswarm. This is going to spawn. One, two, three, four, five. I've got four spaces left. This is going to take up one. So if I just take the natural selection and don't kill anything, it's fine. So I don't want to actually take this yet, right? But it adds to my Chimera if I do take it now. And I don't want to kill any of my opponent's cards, right? This makes my Chimera one point better. I'm still not over-swarming. 
I don't think. If, if I am, I'm a monkey. So we just take the Chimera on the drone. Okay, we lost a point. We gained a point, lost a point, right? Lost a point on the bleed, gained a point on the extra drone. Uh, for Chimera. Do we hold off on this Chimera until we've got two bleeding? We could, right? The problem is if I go Triss here and I only find organics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're fine. But obviously, I want the Bone Talisman. Get in. Triss, baby! Wait, no, this is fine. It's not premature. I still have another talisman, right? I always have to, to do one of these at some point before they Uridan. And we're just doing this because Blood Moon then has a higher probability of doing two bleed. A very high probability, which nets us one point. And if, if, if we miss... Okay, I mean, this is also really good for us. So now we just do this in the front, right? One, two, three, four, five. So we play for this Chimera play for four points plus nine. Sorry, five plus four is nine. Whereas here it plays for eight plus five. It's just way better in the front right now. Uridan's gone. I'm not scared anymore. Right? Right, and this is also better against Heat Wave. In theory, we could do this. It's the same against Heat Wave, though, because of Triss. We're only 56 points down, guys. It's fine. Miss the Bone Talisman, please. Okay, it's nine points. Not that big a deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hit the bone talisman, of course. And surely we win. There's no way we could lose, right? I've not done the maths. I'm going to be so good if we lost, but I think I played it pretty well. Oh my god! What? How is this a draw? What do you mean? No. How did I draw this game? Oh, shit. I feel like I played so much better than him. Oh, my God. What does that even mean? Oh, no. That's going. Oh, no. Girl, nice. Nice. Cards, I think, a good card for him. When I mulligan it last time, I actually like it here. Heat Wave, I think, is nice ish. It's a bad card, but does a kind of job. Do I mulligan the Heat Wave or the, or the Bruiser here? Bit of a choice. I could mulligan the Uridan again at that same line. I have Maxi at the end of the day, right? Not that risky. Uh, Bruiser or. Heat wave. I'm gonna kick the heat wave and then the bruiser. I have monster's nest. I mean, I've done it once. I can do it again, right? I outplayed him in game one. I can outplay him in game two. My hand is a little bit more playable this time as well. I won't have to commit much, but this guy probably won't either, right? Focus, guys. That's always the first play anyway, right? Hmm. Could have done with a drone in the back. We got Maxi here, maybe. Just stool. As well, like a Berserker would be good. I mean, you could also argue Dora Gray is kind of fine here, but we, we might as well just take the Maxi, right? He's not really doing much. I could also just Crimson Curse now, right? To kill ones. Doesn't seem that good though, right? 
Like our Crimson Curses. It's going to kill ones. I guess it gets in before the Chimera Valley does. I kind of like it a bit. Might just slam the Crimson Curse, actually. And we get a back row drone because we're good at the game, right? Wait, could I have guaranteed this if I didn't click? Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nah, it's fine. It's a little bit early on this, but I mean, if we kill drones, it's worth points. At the end of the day, like, what else am I really going to be crimson cursing? I have no behemoth. Like, I uh, I guess I'm taking away my chimera value to, to a degree. Also, like, my spontaneous is also quite awkward to use now. So maybe this was just a misplay, right? Maybe I should have just gone spontaneous. Plus, then, Crimson Curse back row. Crimson Curse would have been pretty nice on this maxi, right? I got Parasite. I could go maxi. I just don't want to give him Crimson Curse in the back, right? Energix is messaging me. Energix, go away! I know! Thank you, though. <laughs> I know I have to replay now. My delay in it. Maxi. I mean, I've waited too long on Maxi. Nice. Huge. I guess I could have got Maxi front row to guarantee this. Probably was the play, actually. I roped. So that just tells us that, you know, this Crimson Curse, that we're not really sure how good it is, it's 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 doing a job, right? It's 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 doing a job, mate. It's not just doing a job, it's 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 doing a job. Still no squirrel valley, come on man. Have a word. Maxi 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 God, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I draw ten cards. I think I have to flip and shuffle, right? I, if I draw perfectly, I find the behemoth, but there's a risk I miss it. I miss the tribute. Maybe I just keep it. It's a big decision. I find all the swarm cards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think it's just about fine. Kind of roped out. Uh, super late Crimson Curse. Very weird. So the longer this round goes on, the, the more like my opponent gets back into it, right? Because of the Crimson Curse situation. Um, really need to focus. I've had to reply to a message just then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want to always spontaneous the back, even though Chimera in the front is more. Can't take Chimera yet. We still have no Squirrel value. Could just take the Dora Gray, but it's kind of risky, right? Whereas Spontaneous kind of just does the job here, I think. We're always going to want to play it. Dora Gray could still find an Indrega, right? Nice. Good bleed, son.
That's a, not a nice bleed, because obviously I want to eat something. I mean, we just trade Dorogray for Dorogray, right? Quite simply. Get absolutely locked, bruv. Hopefully it bleeds a drone, not the six. I want it to bleed one of the ones. So, I mean, my Chimera is playing for more here, but do I ever just invest a leader charge? I kind of want to stop playing right after this drone. I mean, I could play the... Tra it's just awkward, man, isn't it? A little bit worried I'm not winning this round here. My hand is a little bit... Getch. I think I just need to go for the full Chimera value, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Judge. Commitment. I'm investing into the round. If we could get a bleed on this one, that'd be great. Thanks. I guess we could try our luck with the squirrel. And then Trist, Bone Talisman. My Bone Talisman will play for a lot more points, right? In terms of commitment, it's pretty even at the moment. We've kind of just matched each other. He's played this tribute, which I'm never drawing. Playing the squirrel, right? Get absolutely squirreled, Max. Are you going to get some squirrel emojis in the chat? Emojis. Emotes. Same thing. Okay, now, if my opponent wants to win the round and they don't get ahead, they probably have to commit a gold card. We're probably looking at a, a guy that's keeping Uridin in, in his hand. Bone Talisman. Does that get them ahead? Oh, it does. Okay, I mean, we just spend the Triss and we find Bone Talisman because we're good at the game, right? Fuck! GG. Yeah, I think that's over. I think we lose. This is uh, game over. Losing to Triss against Lord Triss. That's fair. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Spontaneous is a nine on the squirrel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at this yen value, guys. Look at this yen value, mate. Flipping Triss, man. I'm Team Yen. Always. Always, bruv! I mean, the thing is, we can't even play Yen here anyway, because we're just probably losing the game if we do, right? It's not a problem. Like, I would probably rather pass than play the Yen. But imagine low-rolling Triss. You know Lord Triss is not low-rolling low his Triss, right? That's for sure. <gasps> I mean, it's not even a low-roll, right? It gets ahead. Yeah, this game's over, man. Losing on even. Because of a low roll Triss. Like I had w a way bigger bone talisman, right? I just need to find bone talisman when I get out. Now the game's just over. Oh guys, I tried. I really did. I feel like it's super undeserved. I feel like this guy's kind of... Um... I don't know. I mean, it's pretty clear he was watching my stream and seeing what everybody was saying and, you know, whatever. It leaves a pretty sour taste in my mouth, I must admit. He was roping at the start of the game and it felt like he was trying to look at my bands. And he's kind of done the same thing, right? Each time, 10 minutes. I'm being so salty. I should probably shut up. Never mind. Wasn't to me, guys. I improved. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm not going to accuse him of, of of cheating. That's uh. That's very disingenuous. I apologise. The Lord Triss. Triss is on his side. What can I say? I lose to a low roll. It's fine. I, I think I was just winning, right? If I don't low roll. Um. I did low roll. Low roll is what happened. Because, like, I know their Triss also missed it, but, like, their Spontaneous was basically the same amount of points, right? 
maybe my curse was slightly premature. Bit of an early commitment on that uh, that side of things, but I mean, what a man's supposed to do. I just don't have enough swarm, right? I mean, I know what I'm drawing. I've just gotten to look. So I just hit spontaneous. Ah, I actually managed to brick and not find my um, behemoth as well, right? This game's just over. Should have shuffled with Maxi. But it was already over anyway. So this is Chimera and then Bruiser. So this is actually the best hand I get, unfortunately. Obviously, it's just over. Feels good, man. And it is really frustrating because I do feel as though he played incredibly badly um, in the in the first game, right? And then he's like changed his line of play, maybe based off watching my stream, maybe just from the experience, like watching the game back from my point of view. I was also doing it right, so you know, I shouldn't really. But I'm watching back from my point of view, not his. He's hearing all my insights. He's reading the chat. I don't know, whatever. I was reading chat, I guess, too. So I shouldn't be salty, right? I should just get over it. Let's accept I've lost and uh, try and get him next time, bro. Yeah. Losing on even was obviously the issue, but last say is what I needed. Doesn't have Euroden, otherwise this is just the world's clowniest play. I mean, I guess it's not that clowny. I have double bone talisman in hand. Game's already over, of course. I should have taken the end. Maybe if he, he maybe he's got the world's worst hand and he bricked, and this is his only win con I just gave him. Could be. Right, I should have just gone monster nest full lead again. It was a, a mistake to do this, but I mean. Yeah, looks like I uh, might have thrown even more. Right. We'll play it out, see what he's got. <laughs> yeah, bro. what? I guess I was also supposed to go for an offensive. Is Yennefer at some point here instead? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I feel I've been so hard done by because I really do believe that this guy did not deserve the win in this uh, in this mirror matchup. I feel like I played it really well. I wonder if uh, Euroden before my Bone Talisman cost me because I I lost out on a point right on my Bone Talisman. GG. Heartbreaking. Start off 0-2. We tie a game, which I feel like I really deserve to win.